Hey everybody, Chris here. So are meme coins back? Yeah, it looks like there's a lot of excitement about the trading of meme coins as Bitcoin and the major cryptocurrencies kind of going sideways, trying to figure out whether this is a bull rally that we've seen in 2023 or are we just kind of going sideways now? But there's some meme coins in the news. We're gonna talk about that, a little bit about Doge and Sheeb as well as Floki, yeah, Floki's back, and Pepe. Yeah, we'll talk about all of those. Just having a little fun as we're just kind of waiting out to see what happens with Bitcoin and the others. Uh, if you like the video, please give a like. I certainly appreciate the support. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, do that as well. Uh, and also, uh, I've been doing a lot of live streaming lately, and the live stream is going to put on hold for a little while. My schedule's kind of changed up, and also, a lot of people have asked me to start making these kinds of videos again. So we'll start with that. We'll see how it goes. Uh, as always, leave a comment below. Certainly appreciate your thoughts, as well as joining my Patreon, uh, because on Patreon, what I'll be doing, if you've got some deeper things you want me to dive into in a future video, you can ask me on Patreon, and we will have longer in-depth videos about things that you may be interested in. So there's a link in the description below to join my Patreon. Certainly uh, would uh, appreciate uh, hearing what you have to say as well. So what's going on with these meme coins? Well, Doge, we've talked a lot about Doge on this channel over the years, and Dogecoin still trading, doing well, but seems to be following a little more of what Bitcoin is doing. And Sheeb as well. Sheeb has also been, now since a top 15 coin, seems to also be following the main crypto movements. But we know they can always go on a run on their own, depending on their own catalyst. We've seen that with Doge. We certainly saw that with Sheeb a while back. Today we have Floki, I'll tell you why that is. And there's a lot of excitement about new meme coins, meme tokens. And we'll talk about Pepe as well. So let's take a look at the charts in the news and I'll show you what I'm looking at. So we'll start here by looking at this article on FX Street, Doge holders try to protect the meme coin as Dogecoin price falls back to where it was a month ago. Yep, so a month ago, this is where Doge was, uh, just under eight cents, 7.89 right now. And yeah, we had, a, we had a little bit run and then a retrace and this is where we are. So so that is that is just the price of Doge. However, Doge holders participation has seen a remarkable rise active address ratio rising above 2%. And whales continue to act bullish, addresses accumulating over 80 million Doge in the span of five days. So good Doge buying. And we're also getting a lot of new Doge holders coming in, a lot, an increase in the number of wallets holding Dogecoin. So that's good for Doge. A lot of excitement about Doge. And that speaks good for Doge in the long term. Now remember, Dogecoin started in 2013. It is in one of these OG coins now. And it also, a reminder, Dogecoin is a coin. It has its own blockchain. It's not a token sitting on someone else's blockchain like Sheeb and Floki and Pepe. Uh, it is its own cryptocurrency coin with its own blockchain. So. That's the big difference. And of course, Doge was the OG meme, meme coin. And the others are really more now meme tokens that we will talk about. But so, uh, so meme coin and tokens facing the market heat. Dogecoin and Sheeb knock the decisive phase. And what is next for them? So, so coming up, we know that both Doge and Sheeb run on Catalyst. That's right. It's catalysts that, that make them run. They do generally follow the overall market. We'll talk about that again later near the end, but that is generally how they trade. And uh, they do have support levels. They do have resistance levels. The, the technical analysis on the charts uh, that I show um, are much more legitimate in Doge and Sheeb than we would see in something like Floki or or definitely in Pepe, because Pepe is way too new right now. But but that's what we see all over. We can look at the price analysis, we can look at the charts and see how they're trading. We can do fib levels and we can see like on Sheeb, like 
we see this this large uh, uh, triangle here that that she may break out of it could be to the downside and if it is to the downside like like coinpedia is suggesting here that we could see uh she gaining another zero and going from four zeros ten twenty five to five zeros down to down to eight uh that is where it was at the end of december of 2022 and if she went down to that level that means that bitcoin is going down probably below 20k doge would be back down below seven cents uh if we have uh, if we have she down at this level. So so that's more dependent on the overall market and how the overall market is trading. But we do have some that counter how the market is trading and Floki is one of them. The news today that Floki Inu joins Dogecoin and Shiba Inu on Binance.us. That's right. Binance.us is now going to be trading Floki and so what did the Floki price do today? It took off. I'll show you on the charts in a minute. But yes, yeah, starting uh, tomorrow, uh, Tuesday the 25th, uh, we will be able to um, begin trading the Floki USD pair as well as the Floki and uh, USDT or Tether pair uh, starting at 5 in the morning East Coast time on Tuesday, April 25th. So the listing of Floki Inu on Binance.us is likely to boost the token's visibility and credibility within the cryptocurrency community. By joining Dogecoin and Shiba Inu on one of the world's most trusted exchanges, Floki Inu has taken a significant step forward in gaining recognition as a legitimate and noteworthy meme coin. So this is like are legitimate. Uh, is Dogecoin legitimate? Is Shiba Inu legitimate? There are many in the crypto world who don't believe that at all, think that it's just a joke, like Bitcoin is the only serious uh, cryptocurrency. And so, of course, the um, the Bitcoin maxis will, will all say that. Uh, but there are other good, good projects, too, within the cryptocurrency uh, world. And what I always say about Dogecoin is Dogecoin is a coin that has introduced a lot of new people into cryptocurrency and its legitimacy is really opening the doors for others who come into crypto. First crypto, they buy Doge and that's what a lot of people have told me the first cryptocurrency they ever bought was Dogecoin, but then they start reading more and more about cryptocurrency and eventually they buy some Bitcoin. So it's good for Bitcoin too. And these other meme coins, I mean, they're kind of fun. You got to be careful, though. People have lost a lot of money on them. You got to be careful which ones you you go into. Uh, but I, I think it, it does bring excitement to the crypto world. And this with Floki, you know, Floki's been around for a couple of years now. And it has been kind of a joke that some have said over time, but now it's going to be trading it's in the top 100 of market cap now so there's a lot of interest in it and we'll see where it goes from here i mean there's many people who didn't believe shiba inu would be a top 15 coin or token as what it is and uh and yet it's there and now there's development happening on shiba inu uh with the shibarium um to make it a, a, a you know, a, a layer two so that people can build projects on top of it and we'll see what Floki does uh, after this but that's what's happening in 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 the world of meme coins and then we've got Pepe and yeah so so um, I wouldn't necessarily compare Pepe to Doge because they're completely different but Cryptosaurus has so we're just looking at uh, we're just looking at this article just to reference Pepe, but I like the hat, make meme coins great again. Uh, I think this helps Dogecoin, it helps Sheeb, it even helps Floki too with what's happening with Pepe. But Pepe is just, it's so new, but it's got a lot of interest and it's getting listed on a whole lot of exchanges as well because there's interest in it and exchanges know they can make money on it because the more transactions there are, the buying and selling of crypto on an exchange, the more money that exchange makes. So 
Uh, so that's why they're all listing Pepe. A lot of people are wondering, how is Pepe getting listed on all these exchanges? It's so new, but that's what's happening. There's a lot of excitement behind it. So where are these trading right now? Well, here's Pepe. Uh, Pepe has six zeros and 29 right now. Six zeros, 29. It's going to have 420 trillion, 690 billion circulating supply of Pepe tokens. So that's why so many zeros um, compared to, let's say, Shiba Inu, which has 589 uh, uh, trillion, which is a lot more than Pepe, but its price only has four zeros now because of the trading that happened a year and a half ago that brought it up to, you know, to this level that Sheep is now, you know, ranked number 14 overall in, uh, in all cryptocurrencies where Pepe is ranked 2,615. So, so that's a big difference there uh, with Sheep and Pepe. Floki, meanwhile, is now ranked number 93 uh, and it's at four zeros, uh, 41 in its price. And what, how did it get up to 41? Well, look at this chart. This is just for today. Uh, amazing. It's up 45% today. And when did that start? That started at about eight o'clock this morning when the news came out that Floki was going to be listed on Binance.us. So that gives Floki Inu some legitimacy. Uh, being able to be listed on Binance and its price has taken off. Now, where is that going to go from here? Well, I don't know. So here's the Doge chart right now. And Doge is just trading sideways, just under 8 cents, 7.85 right now as I'm recording this, pretty much sideways. And look at Sheeb as well, kind of up and down trading sideways. Um, but no, not Floki. If we look at Floki's chart, and I've got it here, look at Floki, just up straight up uh floki came up and hit a high of 49 just touched 50 uh now back down to 42 so so there was there there was some profit taking up here uh in the upper 40s and it has retraced back down but there's still a lot of excitement huge volume trading on floki so we'll see how that goes forward but that is huge for for the Floki holders. And I think a lot of people that were holding Floki down here may have been taking some profits up here. Uh, that's trading, that's what happens. But there's a lot also saying that this is the good for the long-term legitimacy of Floki Inu. And then we have Pepe. So here's the Pepe chart. It's all very new and we zoom out and we see that when Pepe first started trading, it was way down. And then there was this huge push and a lot of people buying Pepe, its price came up way up to 120, 130, and then back down into the 20s. Generally though, I mean, this is like 10% up, 10% down, 20% down, 20% up. I mean, that the scale of this is like so out of whack, but a lot of volume of trading of, of Pepe tokens, and it's continuing, and it's continuing now. I mean, Pepe's down over the past, 24 hours, about 11, 12% or so, but it moves a lot. And there's a lot of volume in trading on this Pepe token. We just don't know where it's gonna go from here. Is this eventually gonna become one of these over time, like a Floki or a, a Sheep that actually has some staying power? Again, we don't know about its contract. If you go to CoinMarketCap, they have a warning up here. According to Go Plus Labs, the contract owner may contain the authority to modify the transaction tax and contain blacklist function. Please exercise caution before taking any action and do your own research. Well, that's the warning that's out there. We don't know enough about it yet. We don't know who the developers are. Don't know who's behind it. So kind of tough to say right now, but that's where we are with meme coins and a lot of excitement about it. You know, while Bitcoin is trading down and trading rather flat, there are a lot of people who are who are uh, trading meme coins now, which helps those. And we'll see where that trading goes from here. Now, overall, with all of this excitement about meme tokens, uh, 
I still give this warning, be careful, only invest what you're willing to lose in any of this because there's no guarantees, particularly the newer tokens, because we don't know who's behind them and they could drop pretty quickly, especially if liquidity is pulled. So be careful about that. I think with Floki now being on a Binance platform gives it a little more legitimacy. Uh, but still, after this big, big run that we've seen today, be careful for a big retrace as well. I think it's going to be kind of hard for Floki to maintain this high level. Sheeb, still waiting on that big catalyst to happen. Maybe not this year, maybe next year. We'll see how Shibarium goes over the summer. Uh, might be some excitement about Sheeb. That the burning mechanism that is in Sheeb. Uh, seems to be working okay, but it's not a lot of sheep that's really being burned right now. Maybe that will pick up more and more once we get into the full uh, rollout of Shibarium. And Dogecoin, well, we're waiting on Mr. Elon Musk mostly. See what's happening with SpaceX, with Tesla, with Twitter. Uh, and anything else that may be happening, you know he's still interested in Doge and all of these other coins and tokens thinking that Elon supports them. No, he doesn't. It's really all about Doge. Let me know what you think about the meme coins in the comments below. Uh, also, uh, another reminder to join my Patreon. I have a link in the description below. Uh, give the video a like. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do. I appreciate the support. We'll see you next time.